something that can catch you out. I've got a um, manual reset HP switch, this is coming up. We had the hottest weather we've had here ever, I think, yesterday, um, or the day before. Um, that should get up so far and then trip, and then it's a manual reset. doing is that's chattering and not going off cleanly. It's a single phase compressor without a lot of, lot of not as much starting talk as a three phase one. It goes off on HP, resets and it can't start against that load and then it's been tripping the um, 20 amp breaker in there. I come out the other day and it tripped and we'd have a load of lightning and storms overnight so we thought that's what had caused it and the run caps were out of spec. And the condenser was dirty, so actually it must have been must have been that just chattering away. But luckily I've got one on the van, so I'll get that swapped out. But that's something to be aware of with these. I've seen it quite a few of these manual reset ones where they um, they don't trip, they just sort of fuzz away right on that point of when they should trip. And the auto ones can do it as well. But uh, if you ever get something it's, it's worth checking and watching that that trip's okay. So what we've done is put a sheet over the condenser so we could get some heat in it. It was something like 36, 37 degrees yesterday, so anyway, that's what we found. But it's just something to be aware of with these. The trick for doing these is pump the system down, got your high side gauges on there, shut the tap off so there's nothing in your red hose pump it down into a slight vacuum, wind that valve in, and then beat the pressure that's just in the head into the suction, that'll bring it up to around zero, and then you, you haven't got to worry about recovering the gas out of there while you change them lines, because there's, there's nothing in there. It saves getting a recovery machine out, or, I don't know, it's illegal, I'm sure some people would just let the gas go. Scales are not that accurate on them. 